your friend Dan. Oh, and have I got something for you guys today. Yes, the Land Rover Red, the uh, Roverland peeps are going to be excited today. So I got a box and it's, I know what's in it because it comes from, uh, let's get it in here, Mattel Family of Brands from uh, Jonestown, Pennsylvania. All right, let's see what we've got. Yeah, this is a uh, unboxing, but I know what it is, and it's going to be a review of what it is. Um, I got stuff all over here on the studio, uh, planning on doing other videos, and this came, and I'm like, oh, we got to do this one right away. So let's see what we've got in here. Yeah, all right. So uh, this comes from Mattel. And uh, that's me there. And I hope this doesn't show any of my personal information or anything like that. But uh, <clears throat> so we have uh, the following. Following items shipped from the back order MB DTC Land Rover Series. 25 bucks. Uh, then uh, tax and shipping, $6.95. So $33.71 is what that cost me. Uh, this is something that I don't normally um, do, and uh, I just uh, went out on a uh, whatever, and I'm like, hey, I gotta have one of these. Um, I, I don't normally buy stuff like this. Uh, this is kind of out of my uh, price range usually, but 33 bucks, I thought this might be worth it. And uh, so let's take a look at it. So it is from Matchbox. It is the 1965 Land Rover Series 2. And uh, a lot of you, I'm just going to talk while you can freeze frame this stuff and you can read this. Uh, not intended for children under 14 of age. That's kind of like the YouTube channel because of Copa and, and uh, YouTube uh, screwing things up. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is a, um, a licensed product from uh, Mattel and Land Rover. Yeah, huh, that's interesting. Lens neon there, huh, interesting, interesting. So I don't know, uh, I think we're gonna open this end and take a look at it. So this is, uh, I bought the uh, Marvel, if you, maybe we'll tag that uh, video at the end. I tagged the Marvel uh, Land Rover, the, uh, what is it, the, the road from uh, Asgard or wherever. Um, which I don't normally buy, and that was like fifty dollars. But that was, you know, that came with a beautiful, you know, display and all this and all that. And uh, so, yeah, I bought that. Nothing left in the box. So let's see what we've got. Nicely wrapped here. We're just gonna tear into this. With no sense saving that. Oh wow, this is glorious. This is grand. Here it is. Ba bam. Oh yeah, look at this beauty here. Yes, sir re Look at those, they're like, they look like real rocks, but I, I don't think they are. But uh, wowzer, wowzer, this is awesome. The 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 from Matchbox. I like that orange on there. That's all bossed on there. Just very, very nice. I know some of you guys have already seen some pictures uh, from uh, eBay. They were selling them. Here's the uh, Diddy here. There's a look at that nice picture there. Beautiful, beautiful. You can uh, pause and read that one there. Kind of tells you the uh, history, casting history. That's interesting. Really kind of cool there. And then we'll flip it around here so you can read the bottom. This is a full review of this uh, casting. So really kind of cool, really kind of cool. So yeah, and so then this slides out and you can see from the stuff on top that this is a surfing um, theme car. So just plain on the inside except for the background, we see a little surfer dude 
And uh, yeah, all right. Now this is gonna be the tricky part. Oh, let's take care of the bottom here while we're looking. Yeah, nice. And um, you can see that they're screwed in there. I don't know if we're gonna unscrew it or not, but I am going to uh, try to uh, get this out of the case so we can see it uh, uh, naked. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause the video here and we're gonna come right back with uh, when I get this thing open just so gingerly. Okay, yeah, that didn't uh, do too bad. I set it on the side there and popped those out there. So hopefully we can get the other side. Oh, is the other side gonna give me problems? Nope, there we go, awesome. All right, so we have it uncovered 100%. This is awesome. Wow, was it worth the $33? I'm just gonna say yes siree right off the bat. Look at this, this is real riders. Now I don't believe that the, I believe the base is plastic. Um, you know, the um, Hot Wheels premium set, they do metal on metal with real rider tires, but this is not that. So um, yeah, let's just start here at the front. So you can see we've got the uh, Series 2 grill there. Is that really in focus or is that just me? All right, there we go. And we've got the, uh, got the uh, license plate there, a little, uh, it's still not really getting us too close here. I wanna get really close, man, get close. A uh, little peace sign on the front. Uh, now it's close, I'm shaking like a leaf. So excited. Yeah, the grill, look at the grill is black with the surround of silver around the white headlights, the old style headlights. Uh, WTVS, I'm not really sure what that stands for, 9297. If you know what that means, comment, comment down below on the, uh, in the comments. And then we're gonna look at the hood there. Riders, what riders are we talking about here? Rider Surf Shop, that's what that is. Once again, we're, oh, there we go. Rider Surf Shop. Oh my, that's a kind of an ugly looking decal. That is not done really nice. That's almost like uh, the uh, Hot Wheels uh, Marvel and even the Bison uh, Shock. That is really grainy. All right, let's get over to the side here. Once again, we got the uh, yellow colored or sand colored wheels and those are rubber. And um, just above the uh, skid guard there, we have the Land Rover Series 2. We That's uh, like a br uh, brown and a tan and then a white stripe. Very, very grainy again. This is just not what I would say is quality, sir. I mean, look at the decal itself. That should be a crisp image there. For that kind of money, we should be uh, crisper than that. Like the, like the, like this here, like, well, even the back, um, wow, that is really grainy. Wow. Laugh, surf, love, surf. Okay, that is grainy. Even that uh, license plate is really pretty grainy there. I don't know if the first, the. The front one was that grainy? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But uh, wow, so they had headlights and the turn signals on the back side. They don't have any of the turn signals or anything like that um, painted, but we do have that white, the windows. I believe that's gonna be a decal there. I don't know if they repainted those or not. You know, the where the windows are, it's, uh, a light mustard yellow uh, casting and I think that the 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 windows there the a pillar B pillar C pillar those I think is white with a decal I don't think they're painting that uh, okay so here's the uh, past no driver side so this is a this is a right hooker by the way if you haven't noticed Hello, there's an interior. Yes, it's got the aqua blue windows, which are really pretty nice. Um, well, the front one, the front doors don't have windows, so those are open. It's got the seam in the uh, second back window there for the sliding glass. 
Uh, actually, on this year, uh, the front would have sliding glass, so they, they took the, the windows right out. But it looks like it's a tan interior. You kind of see a little bit of the, the uh, shifter nubs <laughs> there, but it's, a, it's uh, got uh, three row seats in the front. And I uh, can't really see too much of the back, but uh, yeah. So this has got the, uh, the vent is uh, blackened out on the side, the fan vent. So that's pretty cool. So let's get to the top and to the top we see uh, two surfboards with uh, lassoed onto a um, roof rack. Do I even want to dare pull on that? Is that removable? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So look at that. So that's the C, the same key set as the other ones. So, yeah. Look at the hole right ahead of that. Why is it? Oh, that's for the peg. That's got a peg that fits in that hole. So a couple of octagon, an octagon and a key slot. So that comes off. Did you know that? Hey, something you learned right here on Roverland, yeah. So two surfboards, a blue one and a white one. Pretty darn tootin' cool. That is really cool. I, I really am, you know, on, on the most part, I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, I like the Rear Rider uh, Matchbox wheels on it. Uh, not too, too much digging the chrome, but okay. Land Rovers really don't have chrome unless they're, you know, a Range Rover. But uh, that's just my personal preference. But uh, yeah, so that that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's get back to our normal here. Um, you know what? I, I'm curious. I know you guys are too. So I'm going to pause this for just a second and get some stuff. All right, so I'm back. And uh, let's just take a little bit of a look. So that is, the, the base is all plastic. And then it, they just painted that. You can see the... Uh, dot paint painting the dot dot print on there so yeah you can kind of see that we're going to try lowering this down because we're going to do some stuff here yeah we're going to do some stuff here yeah look at this huh yeah check it out all right <laughs> yeah, let's keep going let's keep going all right all right so um what i want to know is if i could put this on that and that on this so let's check it out Uh, no, no, it does not work. It, it's not working. I don't know why, but it's not working. Well, for one, this, let's get it over here and focus. This one won't work on that one because it's got that extra hole in there. But uh, this is more round. This back peg is more round, but that should, that should work. It should work. Let's get it lined up here. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Nope, that will not fit on there. That will not fit on there. Let's try this green one, the the after uh, the uh, the matchbox. Uh, hey, what we're going to do. Let's try that one. You know, it is it is a raised. See, these, these here are smooth topped, you know. And this one you can see is, is raised a little bit there. And, yep, they are not going to fit. So... There you go. Playability just went out the window. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they do not have uh, swapping parts or whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, so there we are, folks. Um, wow, that is awesome. Oh, let's put that back on there, okay? Let's put that back on there and uh, get out of here. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed checking out this... Uh, yeah, the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 from uh, Matchbox Creations. Awesome piece. Make sure you um, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Go over there and subscribe. Go over there on Facebook. Check it all out. All right, that's it. This is your friend Dano. I'm out of here shaking like a leaf because this is just awesome. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. I got to set it down on something. Oh. All right. I'm out of here. Thanks for joining me today. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.